rely on me. It's my time to shine. help where I can. Find trouble? No, they did. Any more things are easy. Exciting! 
waiting. By the darkness. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Camellia is a plant, right? Something like water hemlock? And lawn is some specimen of underground fauna? Like a horned toad? I hope you appreciate this. It's my time to shine.
Now what is that? There's something over there! I am helpful, am I not? I am helpful, am Can't I not? Can't from me. Uh-huh. I hope you appreciate this. I am helpful, am I not? A bright future awaits us.
What do we have here?
This is my time to shine. How lovely to see you here. Sakoris is an ancient land. The spirits of these places have spoken to people since time immemorial, and some of those people heard them and were able to respond. The shamans of Sakoris were always held in high esteem. They knew the will of the spirits, the will of the land itself. Many Kelids would come to the shamans to learn what the spirits desired in order to gain their support. When the world wound opened and the demons poured into Galarian, they drowned Sakoris in blood. The earth moaned as it soaked up the blood of Kelids, Crusaders, and demons. The spirits drank this blood, slowly becoming deranged and turning into incarnations of madness and pain. Look what Sarkoris has turned into! It's an open wound on the body of Galarian. The world wound has changed it beyond all recognition. And the spirits, these poor creatures have been corrupted. Twisted by war, they moan and they howl, but only shamans can hear their senseless cries of agony. I am a shaman. Morea, the spirit I am bonded with, is mad and can speak of nothing but her endless hunger for blood. I give her what she asks for. I feed her the blood of crusaders. The spirits of Sakoris can no longer speak to shamans. All I can hear is the cacophony of their howls, screams, and laments. But there is a way to restore their sanity. By performing rituals. Bloody but effective rituals. When the untainted blood of the Crusaders cleanses the corruption that Maria fed on for centuries, the spirit will regain her sanity and I shall be able to speak to her. I shall be able to ask her advice, to find out how we can heal the world wound. Tell me, isn't this knowledge worth a handful of lives? Too few. Maria's hunger is still so great. Her pain cannot be soothed by a single victim. But success is within my grasp. I can feel it. It is even possible that today's victim will be the last. Forgive me, I forgot to make the introductions. This is Maria. Or rather, this is her home. Or her prison. To call a spade a spade. I caught this spirit a long time ago. And I tried for so long to speak with it. My little demented ball of rage. I felt compelled to bind it to this amulet, just temporarily, until I worked out how to help it. If I am to be fully honest, her name, Maria, is of my own devising. She is not yet able to speak to me, but I still needed a name to call her by. I do not think, I know. I sense things many people cannot. I can infer what the spirits want. For example, there is one spirit hanging over your left shoulder as we speak. It came to enjoy Morea's victim. Can you sense its hunger? Spirits are akin to animals. You cannot bring a hungry dog to heal. You cannot stroke a hungry cat. To speak to a spirit, you must first feed it. It is not their fault that after so many years of torment, the only thing that can satisfy their hunger is blood. My ritual will work. I did not read about it in books or learn it from some wizened teacher. You could say that I invented it myself, with Maria's help. I just know that it will work sooner or later. I can feel it. The world wound cannot be allowed to poison all the lands of Galarian. The spirits of Sakoris know this better even than you and I. They may know how to heal it. And if not, then perhaps they will know how to eradicate it quickly and painlessly.
We're fighting against demons. It is a just cause. But imagine we win and the demons vanish for good. Do you think the world wound will vanish along with them? That it's something we can defeat with weapons? That it won't burst open again at some point in the future like an old festering abscess? I am thinking of the future of these lands, of how to heal them and restore them. Would you not agree that a few crusaders' lives is a price worth paying? My ritual is not yet complete. I have made the sacrifice. Now I just have to let Maria drink the blood. Will... will you allow me to complete the ritual? Thank you. This will not take long. Accept this sacrifice, Maria. Drink of its blood. Drink of its strength. Drink of its life. We are one, you and I. Our thoughts, our bodies, our souls. What you take in, I take in also. Yes and no. I think I made out a few clear words from Maria before the madness swallowed her again. I'm on the right path. More rituals are needed. Not many, not more than 10 or 20, I should think. Will you allow me to continue my work? What a pain. But if these are your terms, then I agree. <laughs> you know, when I saw you standing there, I thought my life would end tonight, but you spared me. Thank you. I would like to speak with you a little later. Please come and see me. No need to be shy, for I have no more secrets to keep from you. Now, we should leave this place. You go first. I will follow in a few minutes. I need to take myself in hand. It's a pity this fellow died so swiftly. Damn it all, I need sex. I won't sleep tonight without a man. So exciting! 